What's the deal with Shrek 5? After years of speculation, false leaks, and numerous rumors, they finally announced a Shrek 5 film. Kinda. A few days ago, Chris Melendry, the CEO of Illumination Studios, the creators of the Minions, Despicable Me, and Sin, mentioned in an interview to Variety the future projects of the studio, like a sequel to Sin, The Secret Life of Pet, and a new film they are developing named Migration. And in said interview, Melendrani said a few interesting things regarding our favorite Green Ogre. He mentioned they are collaborating with DreamWorks, the studio who made the original Shrek movies, and that Illumination has been recently in talks with Cameron Diaz, Mike Myers, Antonio Banderas and Eddie Murphy, who for those of you who don't know, play Fiona, Shrek, Puzzle the Boots, and Donkey, respectively. But that's not it, and I'll get to that in a minute. But first, let's just establish that this isn't necessarily a confirmation of an installment in the Shrek franchise, because you have to take into account that the last main Shrek movie came out in 2010, almost 15 years ago, and that the whole franchise has earned more than 4 billion in just box office, without taking into account home releases, merchandise, and licensing. And that according to Eddie Murphy in 2016, there's already a finished script for the movie, and that, you know, first movie to win the best animation category at the Oscars, so clearly there's a good reason why it hasn't been an installment in the franchise, and this probably has to do with the fact that Shrek Forever, even though it made more money than Shrek 1, was the worst performed sequel in the franchise, so most likely what they happened is that DreamWorks wanted to put the brakes in the franchise in order to stop the downfall of the brand due to a possible burnout in the audience inside cause for the overexposure of the franchise, which it could sound pretty far-fetched, but if you take into account that in average, there was a new short movie every two years, this without taking into account specials and direct to home video movies, and that this was before Marvel movies had us accustomed to see a new entry every other month, well, yeah, it was a lot back there, which is why I bet they took the decision to continue the franchise with the pussy the boot movies, this in order to not lose the interest in the public, but with a lower profile, but this may be in the past because if you have been in the internet in recent years, you could notice a resurgence of the franchise to say it in a way, and this, plus a great performance in the box office of Buzz in the Boots, The Last Wish, may as well be what Universal has been waiting for, so much so that there's even the idea of a junkie spin-off, but there's a catch, it may not be a Shrek fan what they are planning for us, but a reboot, and I have two good reasons to think this, the first of which has to do with Buzz in the Boots, The Last Wish, that has some discrepancies with the canon of the original movies, but that could be tossed aside as a mistake of the directors and the writers. But the most important one is that the CEO of Illumination has said that they want to take a new spin on the franchise to make it feel more fresh. They don't want to tell the same story again, they want something that will entertain new audiences, and in Hollywood terms, when you hear these words, it means the hard R. Yeah, a reboot or a remake, which seems the most likely scenario here since Shrek was born as a parody of Disney movies, and in the last 13 years, since Shrek Forever came out, a lot of things have changed in the company of the mouse, and maybe the original concept would benefit from a rework, but we'll have to wait and see.